Hello, I'm Ed Trinity Man, and welcome back, of course, to Transport Fever 2, where we're going through time pretty fast right now, and we have some lovely stuff set up. We, in fact, worked on our brick line last time. We actually have uh, had loads of bricks being transported over here since, like, episode 3. But we decided to open up a new market, and that was down in Graybury, and by doing so, we put in a long train line, which allowed us to actually get them down there, and that added another 61 possible sales. Now, that actually doesn't use the full capacity of that brick factory. Collodine, with another 80, would. And this actually, this brick factory, has leveled up quite a way. In fact, it's using 300 stone, which means our transportation here is actually not what we need. Actually needs to be higher. Uh, we'll fix that today, along with, I think, putting in a rail network down to Collodine. Now, we did mention this last time. There's a few ways to do this. We could take... Uh, a line off here, bring it down, which would probably be the most conventional way of doing it. The problem is this line here is very heavily used. We constantly have these uh, ore trucks going in and out. We could make some adjustments to this. We could modernize this. It is an old section of track. It probably doesn't have the requisite speeds. In fact, let's have a quick look. There is a street traffic station layer. There is an overlay truck speed limit yeah so the speed limit around there is pretty low 43 here it's pretty low 39 here that's fine uh, and 50 here these could definitely be improved by quite a way how much fuel do we have waiting here 44 okay so we could tear up the entire track along this route I'm tempted to do that, but I'm also tempted not to do it on screen and just do it between episodes, because you've seen me do that a few different times now. We don't really need to go over that again. But the main issue is this is what? Four trains? Five trains we have on this route? It's very busy. Now, obviously, we're going to add some new trains to this at some point in the future. In fact, we could do right now. We unlocked a new train last episode. But... We'd also then have to put the turning in and probably put it in like here or something. This to me feels like a, a network that we should keep completely separate from the rest of the train network. Ideally, I know we've not done that. We've actually attached it, but ideally, because it's so heavily trafficked, we should probably leave it alone. In addition, it goes through stations. We don't need to go through stations. That's slow and means you're going to bump into someone who's waiting in the station. The other choice is if we take this rail line and pull it completely through over here, over this is a bridge, and into Collodine this way. It would be quicker. It would also mean that the brick uh, train goes into Greybury, comes out the other side into Collodine, and then routes back. I'm very tempted by that. The downside to that is we'll have to make some major adjustments to the station. Like, we have to move this entrance to here or something. We'd also then have to pull a rail network out here which does involve destroying a few houses, which is fine. And then running a bridge, which will slow down because it needs to have a height raise. And expensive. The expensive isn't really a problem. And then down into here. Now, getting down into a station might be tough. So I, I'm really debating the merits here, and I'm not sure which is probably the best. I'm really not certain right now. I really should have decided this before the episode began. Let me think. As much as I think this is a good idea to redo up here, I think this is just going to be cooler to have a bridge. So what I've done is I've completely redone this intersection. This intersection is much faster now. It's better. And the new and improved Greybury Station now has a double cargo platform, a single passenger platform, and a bypass line as well. And they all connect in a much more fluid manner. In fact, I think the top speeds here are, let's bring up the speed tracker. 36 on the slip switches, because they can't really avoid that. But overall, like we're talking 60, 61, it's only the slip switches that slow things down, and those slip switches are necessary. So, I think that is a pretty good call. What we're going to do is we're going to bring it out the bottom of Greybury and then go over here. I'm tempted to put in the line that does this bit first. Uh, 
But obviously, we'd have to do a bridge or something. So that might be something we want to set up afterwards. Um, if we did that and then... Yeah, there's a limit on bridges of 65 miles an hour. Sorry, not 65, 56. Look, numbers are... <sighs> Number E. Uh, we'll want to keep that. Nope, that is way too flat. There we go, flat, flat, flat. This bridge is much more... It's longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> That's what she said. Ah, uh, right. We connected there. How much is that? There we go. 7.1 or 7.2 million. And then we bring it down into Greybury. That seems okay to me. I don't know if I want to build this. I kind of want to do some fiddling with this. It just feels a bit wrong at the moment. Maybe that's just because it's too high. Like, what are we looking at for the height of other bridges that are putting by the game itself? Like that. Doesn't feel anywhere near as high as the one we've got down here. Now, obviously, this is a longer bridge, but it doesn't seem to be that necessary to go quite this high. Yeah, way too high. Let's try again. Also, make sure you're on one way, because otherwise I'll forget. Then, bridge. That looks much more realistic. Although, it does seem to still be going up there and then flat at the end, which is not really what I wanted. Now, obviously, it actually might be better to connect the bridge up here behind this lumber yard and then have an offline. But I think we're going to do another path through station. Which means we're going to be very tight on space. Which I'm totally okay with. Um, is that big enough to get a ship under? I think we're going to go up another notch to make sure it is. Ooh, big jump, okay. I also don't want the bridge to be curved. It feels a bit wrong for a bridge like this to be curved. Like, I know it can be because it's got these stone support pillars. And I know I'm getting really, like, particular about this bridge. Let's just aim it. That feels right. All right, middle of the area. And it's too low to begin with. Okay. Try again. Nope, a bit too much to the side. There. And then up. And again. Okay, we will get this eventually. It's just, I'm very particular about my bridges, okay? Also, that being a 52 mile an hour. No. No, 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 no. Way too slow. It might just be better enough to make, like, the beginning of the bridge. Yeah make it in a straight line to begin with. Yeah, there we go. Now, we don't need to go up that high. That high seems about right, and then we can go flat. Oh, 
All right, tick. That seems vaguely okay. How's that for a bend? There is a little bend towards the end there. That seems much better. Okay. So that's what we're going to be aiming for. With you, I think the easiest bet is going to be what we did before, which is a straight line. Really? There's a tunnel here? Oh, because I've got it going down and it should be flat. Whoops. My bad. Yep, sorry about this, homeowners. Progress must be fulfilled. Might also want to upgrade these roads. I mean, that's not even a main road. I mean, this is actually kind of a main road. Yeah, we'll upgrade it. Really? Construction not possible? The town is going to complain at me. Oh, right. There we go. Why is construction not possible? I'm going to put a straight line in there and then we'll curve the last bit to meet up. Con Why is construction not possible? Is there a reason for this? Okay, that worked. Uh, don't, don't question it. We have the money that we're not really worried about, things like that, but it's kind of weird when that happens. Uh, right. I think since we are here, and that's a major, that's actually not that major a road. We won't bother about that. Okay. Tracks. Now, rule one, we can't cross on this, but we can start to bend across. We also want to make sure there is a crossing point for these two. Although, we can't do that with a road, which is frustrating. Oh, wait, which way should that go? It should go from this to that. Okay, I think what we'll do firstly is then... I know that's pretty slow, but that's just right into the station slow. And they're slowing down there anyway if they're going in. Okay, let's... And then we need a crossing point up at the top. All right, I think we can slow down here to 50, considering we've got a bit of a limit. Okay, now note they all connect into this side one here. That's because we're gonna put in a cross. Um, we'll allow, okay, maybe from the other side, we're going to allow trains to cross there. And then we'll also reverse it. The alternative is to put a slip switch in doesn't feel like it's necessary if we do this. It takes a bit more track, but eh. Okay, you, oh, 
You're single tracked. Should I double track you? I'll double track you now. Oh, 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 is it a crash? It's a crash. And the game wants to update. Okay, hopefully that'll reduce the number of crashes. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I had to redo this bit of line here, and I wasn't massively sad about that because I've redone it in a much better manner. What I've done is I've basically had these two tracks merge, these two tracks merge, and then the tracks do a crossover. Uh, the speeds are much higher on this, actually. If we have a quick look, you'll see the lowest we've got is a 53? Yeah, 53. That's pretty good, especially going to a station like that. Downside is that the passing one has a speed of 53, but eh, whatever. So, with that said and done, let's connect it up. Please don't crash this time. Oh, there's a water bit here. Ugh. Okay, that water bit there is going to be frustrating. So I guess go there. And then this time around, we'll actually put the bridge on the other side. Right. That's a 65. Not great. And we actually have a lot of room to play with, so I'm actually going to delete a little bit there. Oh, wait, have I electrified the line? I did not mean to do that. Uh, let's not bother with that. I know we're going to use it eventually, but we're not using it right now. It feels kind of wrong to be putting that on if we're actually not going to be using it. Right, there we go. Now, with that done... All we need to do is put our own little station in. And this is going to be a passing station because we are probably going to end up hooking this up to maybe Mitchley, maybe even up to Jennings, and maybe up to here in a loop if we decide that we want to do that. So, cargo station. Um, where will this cargo station go? Because obviously it comes in there. Technically, it would have to go here, and that would cause some pretty large amounts of destruction. Like, we'd be destroying quite a big chunk. We could just delete this section here. That's actually probably the safest bet. Just delete that bit of town. Sorry, town. And then put that in. Like, uh, can we get a more overhead view? Is that straight? So it's got to be bent a little bit there. Right. Let us. Uh, well, I guess we'll hook up the track firstly. But then we'll want to go here, configure, boop, 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 and then road. Uh, we'll go there in a straight line. I think we'll just curve in there. There we go. Much better. Web update just happened, by the way. That update was 300 megabytes, which sounds to me like they just completely replaced a giant game file. Hopefully fixes the crashing. No idea if it actually will or not. Uh, this one here, I'm tempted to have bend up. So we're not crossing it at such a weird angle. Eh, for now, it'll be fine. It's not like it really matters right now, unless this grows a lot. Okay, and then easily enough, we just need to put a crossover here. We've got the space to be able to go at max speed, so we will. 
And I did check, by the way. My suspicions are confirmed. Uh, there is an inbuilt signal in station. So when a train gets into a station, it does count as on a different section of track. Uh, we'll have to try and build this again. I think we'll try and start from here. Really? We're going to keep having this issue? Really? Really? Come on, have some compassion game. No, no, okay, we won't have compassion. That's fine. I don't like compassion anyway. Yeah. Try from here. What? What is it suddenly with this game of being like, hey, no, you can't have this thing. I wonder if maybe the issue is like the distance between them is technically different. Maybe it's something to do with the ground level. Right, try again. 75 and 75, great. And not allowed. Like, okay, we could do this technically, but it bugs me that we're not using our best practice method. Why is it suddenly not working? Maybe let's try and make it longer? Really long crossover point. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? This is driving me insane. Expect any minute to see something on the screen saying, five hours later. 17 years later. I wonder what it is. We'll try putting the thing in up here. Too much slope. Oh, maybe it's a too much slope problem. That would make some sense. Okay, we'll try a couple more times. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna move on and I'll try and fix it off screen. Me move on from a problem? Yeah, I know, it's a joke, right? There we go! That's so far away from the station. That really frustrates me. Okay, carrying on. Uh, we're actually going to leave that. We don't actually need that to go anywhere. We will need, however, to put some lights in. And they are going to be one way. Yes, because going in and out of stations, I do want them to enforce the one-way setting. After that, no. That is wrong. Hello. Okay, and then we have this here, which again, enforce the one-way setting coming in and out. And we don't need to place one here because that is a station and they do their own enforcement there. And we've got that up there sorted. Okay. Those are a bit close together, actually. We're going to spread them apart. And I deleted the rail. Can I do Control Z? No, it doesn't work in this game. Okay. Yeah. I think this might be a bit too big, but it's not too much of an issue. Uh, still a bit close together for my taste. Ideally, I'd shift these three a little bit that way. But again, it doesn't really matter. We are going to go and... Nope. Limit on screen. Uh, whoops. Add station. Collardine. We might even need to add a second train to that. 
now. You can provide bricks to all of this. Not quite getting some of it. And if it does expand, we won't be getting it. So we are going to add some road vehicles to this. Uh, where's our nice road depot? Here. Okay, that's fine. Do, 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 do. Truck station. One sided truck station. There. And that should do the job. Okay. Uh, new line. This is going to be Claudine. Do we have any lines in. No, we need to come up with a name for you. Add new line. Boop, boop. Uh, you are road cargo. Cod, call. Okay. Uh, that crash definitely wasn't fixed by the update. And if anything, that crash was worse. It actually crashed OBS. I hope the footage saved okay. Um, if not, hi, you just missed me. Honestly, not doing much because it crashes very, very often at the moment. Uh, right, we are going to extend the line up here. I'm going to add a station. Boop. Done. And then we're putting in a building. Truck depot. And a truck unload stop actually place it too close to something it doesn't actually get the resources hmm I think we'll place two just so we can do a loop right new line Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Road cargo, okay, phew. Call, and we're gonna call this, uh, what is it? Bricks. Oh, I guess we could also edit you to include call. Right. Hi there. I want to buy a vehicle. And we can buy the tarpaulin truck. Or this truck. Which actually carries more. Interesting. So they do... Oh, it actually does cost more as well. I was about to say, they reward you for having a limited truck that you can't change about. But they don't. Because it costs more. It does carry more though, and the speed is much better. So we will buy two of them. We'll assign them to there. Now, my guess is we're also going to need a double train. One train at the moment won't probably be able to provide that. But before we do that, I want to completely get rid of all of these ships. This line is old. There are 107 years there. I know we bought some last episode, but we have unlocked a new ship and we could definitely do with increasing our throughput. So I'm going to manage vehicles and as much as this is going to be annoying, um, we just sell them. You just sell them. We don't need to worry about the efficiency as much. Uh, limit to what's on the screen. Sell you. And then buy vehicles. And we will want to get the Schaffhausen. What does that mean? Something house. The floating house or something like that? I don't know what Schaff means. Schaffhausen? Uh, it has 130 capacity with a 20 mile per hour top speed. Relatively decent acceleration. Definitely improvement of four miles an hour, an extra third power, extra third carry capacity, 20% lower loading speed. That'll do. Uh, we'll get two of you for stone, I think. We might need to up that to three eventually. Oh, hello. It paused for a moment there, and I was wondering if it was going to crash. And then we'll get... 
We're going to need a lot for this next section. I'm thinking five. Hell, that might even need to go up to six. We're going to go five for the moment. And we should be okay with this. They're 108 years old. I would feel bad for them doing the same job for 108 years. What's our rate? 63. Yeah, that's fine. What about our rate down here? 81, also fine. Okay. We're still going forwards at a pretty fast speed. Uh, I'm a little bit worried because I'm about to hit three times just to let all these things propagate. I think we will bring this down to just one time because I don't want to be shooting past some crazy dates. I want to stop at 1920 at the latest. I do like these ships. They are very old in terms of design. I think this is the last kind of side wheeler we'll get. But, very pretty. Oh, wrong one. Also, that front-mounted anchor. There we go. Get a lovely little picture in. Oh, yeah. Right. They're definitely going to take the time to propagate. They've got a long way to go. Relatively speaking. Let's have a look at the lines. Wait until full. Yeah, good. Uh, I also want to look at the rate on the lines. Three, two, seven. That's probably going to be fine. And our rate over here, two, seven, five. Not good enough. We need 300 in the minimum right now. And if we're going to upgrade it, we'll want 400. So I'm actually going to duplicate that vehicle. Such a useful feature, that duplicate. Right, got 63 bricks to pick up. Meanwhile, where's our train? The train on this line, where are you? I thought you might be down this end by now. Hmm. Wait, what are you doing here? Oh. Can you not turn around or something? Why are you here? What did I tell you to do? I must have screwed this up somehow and I've signaled that you can only go in a certain direction? Why is this? We need to follow this train around. I've made a really amusing screw up. This train has gone completely off track. Like we've decided to do the loop. We full on come down here and done the entire loop. Why is that? Yeah, you're trying to go to Drakenford. So you made it to Collodine. You came back up here. Oh, you were on this road, but then you changed or something? No, you stayed on this road. That would have been fine. You came up to here. And for some reason, you didn't take this? Why? Why? I have no idea why! And you've actually got brick. You never... You never went off here. Because you still have the same amount of brick you had. You never went... 
down this route. You should have been, ah, uh, I sh ooh, no, no, this is correct. You should have been able to change over here. Uh, hello. Why do we not have a line there? Oh, it's because I clicked the wrong one. There we go. Yeah, Terminal 2 is fine. I'm fascinated about how that happened. I really want to know what went on there. Where did that go wrong? Uh, let me know in the comments. Like, by the time I see it, it will be well after, because I'm recording well ahead on these. Like, hopefully the crash is fixed by the time you see this, but... Where did we go wrong? Huh. You went across here. Instead of turning in, which would have let you go to here. No, you would have been on the right-hand side. So you've gone to here, which would have been fine. You've gone through this checkpoint. You would have changed over here and stayed on there. Yeah, I don't get it. Let's watch you on the way back, just in case that happens again. You're going to wait a couple of minutes before leaving. Sure. Where did everything go wrong? It's like a mystery. And I need to find out. I need to know. I like mysteries. But I want, I want to know. I don't want just a mystery that I can't solve. All right, train's off. We're going to position ourselves next to the train and then try and figure out where it's going and if it's going the right way. Oh, look, we've got two people now driving this train. Most of our trains used to be one person, so this is like the start of getting a two-person train. Okay. This is all good. We're going through the tunnel system. I'm in the outside of the world. That happens. Just going to move inside the world again. You are heading for Graybury. Maybe you passed when I was still working on the train line and I paused it or something like that. I didn't think you were, but maybe you had. Okay, the turning is coming up. Here we go. Oh, you turned. Okay. I guess we'll never find out. It must have been I paused when you had already plotted your route back and you didn't change your route. Yeah, that worked like a charm. Hey, right, you've got no brick left. Okay. Well, that's that mystery. Oh, hello. What do we get? We've got a plane! It is 1920, so I think at this point, we turn that off. I really want to find out about this plane. Oh, hello. The game's getting a bit stilted. Okay. Cargo airfield, passenger airfield. I want to know about these planes. How much would it be to place one of these? Five million. Five million. I'm tempted to place one just to have a look at planes. Hangar, yes, no, terminals. Okay. I really want to set up an airfield. 
I'm not sure they're going to be particularly useful at this moment. That's a very small airfield. But... 105 bricks. That looks like a good amount of bricks. You'll come back from Claudine. Absolutely fine. No issues there. I'm just going to confirm that you turn back onto the right route. Not that I don't trust you. Just, you know, you've got some weird form going on there, mate. Just a little bit, a little bit odd. Ah, that's all good. Stay on the outside one, turn here. Yeah, all fine. Keep up a good speed as well. Okay. We're getting to a stage where we might not have enough bricks. What's the transport rate of this line? 50, 58. That's no way near enough. We need three times that. Okay. I think the last thing we'll do is actually going to reverse you and send you to depot. One issue when I reverse is that you might end up complaining about going through a signal. I don't think we'll actually have that problem, luckily. You know, for our own peace of mind, we should maybe make a depot down this bottom end of the map. Where do we want to put this depot? Oh, here. We've got one here. Never mind. Okay. I think I know what I want to do with you anyway. We're going to duplicate, but we're going to use a new engine. We're going to use the engine that can get to 56 miles an hour. Of course, it only gets 50 with these cars, but that's much... Pretty much, uh, what, like a, a one-third improvement over the 37 miles an hour. It's also got more power, etc. Ah, you're actually waiting for us. Thank you. And we can actually use that as a change of our point. Easy choice here. We get rid of that. We add this. And I think we might even be able to add another... Yes, one meter shy now. One meter shy of the total length. Yeah, flats you can get 50. Mediums only to 42. And I think we will hit modify. Why is the price constantly changing? It's going up. I guess it's because it's old. Either way. We'll do that. We'll duplicate you, and then we will assign you to that line. And that is our first new train in quite a while. At least a new type of train. I do like this one, though. Looks proper heavy. Oh, it's got a fully enclosed cab. Again, only one person, though. Inside that cab looks pretty dingy. And this, I guess this is meant to be like coal hopper. Why has it got no coal in it? Also, why is the back here disconnected? I guess the coal's in there. What's this purpose of this then? Hmm. Oh, we're getting up to some speed now. This is going to be the fastest cargo train we've had. We've had faster passenger trains. OK. 
Okay. Let's try and hit that 37 barrier. 36. 37. 38. There we go. New record for a cargo. Taking a very long time to get up to speed. We are going uphill, admittedly. Oh, 39. Oof. Flatten out. Right, come on. I want to try and hit that 50 mark. 46. 47. This is very nice speed to be traveling out of a cargo. We haven't gotten anywhere near this. This is, what, 11 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour more than we've ever been. Come on, hit that 50. Down a bit. Oh, oh, I think we're going to hit it. 50. Brilliant. Okay, let's accelerate time. Where's the train behind us? There. Oh, that was a bit of a gap. Are you going to Greybury? Okay, you won't be picking up bricks for a little while then. You're going all the way down to Culladine. Where are you going? Greybury as well. Okay. I was hoping we could end the episode with you picking up bricks and taking them on the run. We'll actually check what the line throughput is now. 140. Might even need a third train. How many bricks do you use? 90. 70. 160. Okay, we're going to be 20 bricks shy. That's unfortunate. I'm not going to deal with that now. It's only 20 bricks. Okay. Pull out of the station. Gonna pass each other on the bridge. We haven't seen Oak tra traveling on this bridge. We should really look at that. That's a good view. Lovely 50 there. Holding a pretty good speed. I just want you to go get the bricks. Okay. While you do that, let's check. Oh, number of residents is actually dropping. Yeah, the target population is pretty low. Part of that is we aren't providing bricks anymore. You, you're pretty stable. Pretty stable. Okay. Production is climbing. That's good. In fact, you can produce 400, which means you've actually gone up a level. You can produce the same amount of the stone. 400 stone. 400 brick, which is great. And we're not shipping max. That means we aren't requesting enough because we're waiting around for brick. So it's not that. The problem is we're not requesting enough. So we could actually hook up more brick requiring places. It would be something like Kehereford or something like that. Maybe Davit Gate. Davit Gate's 147. And it is on the line. Well, it's not on the line yet, but it's very close to the line. We'd have to 
make a mess of Fanian. Make a huge mess of that. Right, here we go. You're coming this way. You're going to end up waiting for bricks. That's fine. Eh, come on. You didn't actually fill up. You went to 96. There was a little bit left. Interesting. Okay. You're making half a million for each transportation there, which is very nice. Okay, bring those bricks in. Traveling at three times speed on the train actually feels fast now. Okay. How much are we going to get paid for this? Four hundred thirty-seven, uh, four hundred thirty-nine thousand rounded. But that was only a few of them. <laughs> okay, that was like thirty brick, less than that. Pulling away is definitely slow. Wish I could see the stats on this vehicle right now. In terms of its acceleration, I'd be interested to see what it was. I can't remember what it was when we were looking at it earlier. Okay, down the other side. And in we go. One point nine million. That's good money. And of twenty brick waiting to be distributed. And luckily. We have flatbed trucks now! Hello! Oh, fancy flatbed trucks and everything. And how much can this line distribute? 69. Yeah, we're not going to be distributing that much. That's good. What about our second train? Even that's still got 14 brick on it. How much brick are we collecting here? 66. With another 109 coming in. Yeah, that seems good to me. Our main issue is consumption. We're not consuming enough brick. The downside is I'm not sure where we'd expand that to. It, it's mostly going to be these stations, these towns requiring more brick as they grow. Right now, your target population is starting to go up, which is nice. Your target population is wanting to climb quite steeply. We're going up about 20% target population. And you... aren't growing, but technically your target population is another 60 people. Yeah, we want to grow like 25%. Okay. Well... Next time, I think we want to play around with the airfield. I'm not sure how much use it'll actually be, but I might just install one anyway. But in particular, uh, I accidentally placed one here at some point. Hi there. You're interesting. We have a three capacity passenger aircraft that goes at 85 miles an hour. That's lovely. It's in the middle of nowhere. I thought my money looked a little bit lower than I expected. We're going to delete you. For obvious reasons. We will probably do something with them next time, even if they're going to be useless. Transporting three people, even if it's fast, is not going to be great. We don't have many large uh, towns. We've got Dahlgreen, Kidgeston, which is it still bigger? Five, seven, eight, five, four, six, yes. 
and that was still growing. So what I might do is put in a airfield there, and then maybe an airfield down at Mitchley. 300 people, or Collodine, because Collodine's going to go up. Yeah, there we go, it's growing massively now. Yeah, we'll probably try and do a passenger from Kidgestan down to Collodine. And then just see what we get out of that. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it. You know, airfield's costing 5 million. Oh, that's a lot of brick. 140 waiting. We're going to need to have another train. Hi, managed vehicle. I know I said I wouldn't do this for a while, but done. It's needed. And with that said and done, as I was saying, I think we're going to call it here. Next time, although we're going to play around the airfield, I think the main aim is going to be machine parts. We're going to try and take steel from here, which is going to be annoying and complicated because, again, as we mentioned previously, this line is congested as hell. We're going to take the steel to here and we're going to try and make planks natively here with wood. We'll probably have to grab wood from a couple of places. And then we're going to turn it into machine parts, which we can take to Shadowland, Riverston, Thanian, and Dahl Green. So yes, it's going to be very complicated and going to add congestion along all this line. Although that said, they've been much faster around here recently. And if we wanted to redo this terminus to make it just a little bit quicker, I think considering what we've now learned about forcing one ways, we'd probably be faster on it. That is a lot of car traffic. Might almost have to put like a, a actual bridge in or something to avoid them piling up in front of the train track. I think in between episodes, I might also replace these with the new vehicles that we've got, the flatbed trucks, because they're slow and the flatbed trucks can carry a little bit more. How much can you carry? Yeah, flatbed trucks can carry three more, so over 50% extra. For now, I've been a to see him. Like, subscribe, and until next time, stay shiny.